The quality of the machine and the tolerance is extremely important in what we do. Even on the racing side, we were usually working in extremely tight tolerances and a lot of different materials. One of the niches that we have fell into outside military defense and aerospace stuff it is very complex, tight tolerance, um, and extremely difficult parts. As far as trying to navigate the challenges, it's definitely um, a very unique environment that we're in. We're a job shop and obviously there's a lot of job shops across the country. Um, but then when you get into the complexity of the parts that we do, it definitely narrows things down. And then when you throw the AS9100 system and the quality management system on top of that, then the pool gets very small. We decided to try to get AS9100 certified where we could do military defense and aerospace type work. We do a lot of weapons development stuff, a lot of ground mobility vehicle side, as well as getting into the aerospace side. The Akuma machines are very precise and they repeat very well. We have a lot of very close tolerance parts and you can get repeatability within one tenth of a one thousandth of an inch on a lot of the machines. The service is very important. We have to make sure that when we do have an issue, we still have an obligation to our customer to get the part there on time. With most of our stuff being prototype, their time to market is, is critical for them, so we don't want to be the bottleneck for that. Obviously, the service is very important, and then the quality of the machine itself. Knowing that we can run you know, for years and years with minimal downtime and minimal maintenance requirements. Reliability. There's machines that have been in here since I've been here. Since the day I started, um, they still run. They still hold tolerances. We have um, an MX-55, which is about 25 years old. It is the oldest machine we have in here, and we still make extremely high precision, tight tolerance parts on a daily basis. Automation has come a long way. We had a machine, guy standing at every machine. Now we have mills with pallet systems, mill turns with robot arms. It's come a long way in 19 years.